continuing story of Peyton Place. Starring Dorothy Malone as Constance McKenzie, Ed Nelson as Michael Rossi, Mia Farrow as Allison McKenzie, Ryan O'Neill as Rodney Harrington, Barbara Parkins as Betty Anderson, Tim O'Connor as Elliot Carson, Christopher Conley as Norman Harrington. child, Kim Schuster, the sight of violence is a shocking thing. Now, having run away from Allison and come upon Rodney Harrington and Joe Chernak quarreling for war, she is the unseen witness of tragedy. down your throat. But I don't have to fight your way. I don't need this. Doctor's Hospital? Someone's been hurt. Down at Kent's boat rentals, at the wharf. Who's this calling? Rod? Rod? Send an ambulance, please. And hurry. <laughs>
better call the police. Hey, help! There's a dead guy on the wharf! in the fifth ring. Just in time. Doctor's hospital? Just a moment, please. I'll connect you. Mrs. Kruger, doctor. Thank you. If you reacted to every call the way you did the last few, you wouldn't be able to hold a thermometer. I told you it was that emergency, and it's just the waiting. Must be the same feeling a lawyer gets waiting for the jury. Any idea what happened? So you're just quivering on general principles. There's no such thing as a routine emergency, Stephen. I'm sorry, Betty. That old wreck of mine kept stalling. That's all right, right Betty. Well, you're relieved for the call. Thank you. Doctor's hospital? No, I'm sorry. She's gone for the day. Would you like me to take a message? All right, thank you. We'd better hurry, Cinderella. I'll get ready. Didn't you find her here once before? She must be here. I'll look under here, you look up on top. She likes to be found, too. Then why can't we find her? I just know something's happened to her. I feel it. It's all my fault if I hadn't been so wrapped up in myself. No, it isn't your fault. She was my response. Mr. Carson. This no. is my wife, Doris. How do you do? We never have. It's so nice to meet you, Mr. Carson. Congratulations on your new position. Thank you. I take your coat, please. Would you like to go upstairs, Mrs. Carson? I'd love to. Will you excuse us? Of course. Thank you, Anna. Well, I'm glad you came. I'd like you to have us. Frankly, I thought we ought to get to know each other. I guess you thought so, too. I did. Good. Let's start with a drink. take that. Oh, please. How lovely. Oh, thank you. Did you get this in Boston? No. Right here in Peyton Place. Really? Mrs. Carson, I know that you're busy, but I was hoping that some afternoon we'd be able to have lunch. Well, I'd like that. So would I. And now that your husband's taken over the newspaper, do you think that you'll keep on working? I really hadn't thought about it. I worked for a long time. There are times when I miss it very much. Well, there are times when I wouldn't miss it at all, not in the least. 
Mrs. Carson, I was hoping that tonight would put our husbands on the same side of the fence. But that's a pretty big order for one evening. Well, perhaps uh, if we help. My husband insists on making his own decisions. I, uh, I try not to interfere. Yes, I'm sure. I've seen it happen before. Yes, but it doesn't have to be that way. Automation doesn't mean that this will become a ghost town. So what's the alternative? The alternative is to retrain the men for other jobs. We've gone through this before, Schuster. I still wonder if you can ask people to change their whole pattern of living. You're changing your pattern. May we uh, join you? Come in. Connie. Yeah. Well, I'd like to propose a toast to the new editor-in-chief of the Clary. Yes. To Elliot Carson and moderation. I'd like to propose a more appropriate toast, if I may, to the outgoing editor and publisher of The Clarion, who didn't want any sad farewells, my very good friend, Matt Swain. Indeed. You want another one, Stella? No, thanks. Ada. Is she, uh, waiting for something? No. And there's no sign up. Yet so you can tell. Women that don't want nothing got no business coming in here alone. Only men got a right to be lonely, huh? No, no, no. You know what I mean. I got a hunch she can... must have got hurt. You stay here. Bobby couldn't know him, would he? I gotta be with him. Come on, come on. Look, all right, baby. Now look, everything's gonna be all right. We mustn't lose our heads. Stella. 